stop the Earth's rotation, remove its friendly neighborhood moon, push it just slightly closer to the sun, and scientists believe the Earth would become like this planet, Venus. Recent findings indicate that the Earth and Venus are identical in many ways. At one point in Venus' history, it might even have had oceans similar to ours. These are some of the new discoveries resulting from an international Venus science conference. Many of the new findings have come from the several pioneer Venus spacecraft sent there by NASA to study the cloud-shrouded planet at close range. We know that Venus has got dense sulfuric acid clouds that would seem to us to be something like a smog or a heavy fog, which would burn your skin if you were exposed to these clouds. The bottom of the clouds is about 30 miles above the surface, and below that, the atmosphere is clear. You can see for great distances. As you go deeper and deeper into the atmosphere, it gets hotter and hotter, and eventually, once you get to the surface, it's about 800 degrees Fahrenheit. It's like being inside of a self-cleaning oven. The temperatures are so hot that it would kill anyone who was exposed to them, and the pressures are equivalent to being 3,000 feet deep in the ocean, so the pressures would be crushing. The light levels are so dim at the surface during the day that it's sort of like the cloudiest day that we ever experience on the Earth. Uh, so it's a dim, hot, crushing place. During the early years of the solar system's history, conditions may have been right for life to exist on Venus. One of the key elements was water, according to geologist Dr. Harold Mazursky. Well, we think that there was a lot of water in Venus, like there is on the Earth, but it's not there now. It's way too hot. There's water vapor in the atmosphere. So the, the big question is, early in its history, did it have condensed water on the surface? And we can look for that in high-resolution radar pictures. And the way we do it is you look for shorelines, because there are dried lakes now in the western United States that were full of water during the Ice Age. And we can see that evidence clearly. There are offshore bars that were made when there was water. So we can look for those kinds of things that may have been there in the past on Venus's surface. We were utterly surprised on Mars by understanding that the history was different early. And the same thing is true of the Earth. So it would be strange if Venus had always been the same as it is now. Lightning active volcanoes, upside-down clouds that cause a drizzle of sulfuric acid, and a super-hot surface. Slowly but surely, Venus is giving up some of its secrets, new information that will help us better understand our own planet, both past and future. This experimental airplane has a rotating wing that at times makes it look like a pair of scissors. It's the AD-1 Swing Wing Aircraft at NASA's Dryden Flight Research Facility near the edge of the Mojave Desert in California. The AD-1 completed its 39th test flight last fall and demonstrated good handling qualities with the wing angled up to 60 degrees to its fuselage. During takeoff and landing, the wing is positioned similar to other planes. From all indications, an oblique wing aircraft could fly at low supersonic speeds using less fuel, running on smaller engines, and making less noise than standard airplanes. It should also reduce the thunderous sonic booms heard at ground level. 